In the tools palette, under the lasso drop-down, there's a tool called the magnetic lasso. The magnetic lasso is um, a little better tool than the polygonal lasso, or the regular lasso, and that allows you to have some more control, and it's more of a smart tool, and it looks at the area that you're trying to select. If you look under the options palette, it has the feathers and anti-aliasing as all selection tools, but it also has width, contrast, and frequency. If you look at width, you can see the size of my circle here, and let's say I decrease this number to 25, you can see that this is smaller. If I make this tool and, and decrease it using the brackets larger or smaller, what this is actually doing is much like a, br a brush tool, it is looking at the overall area that's going to be looked at. So everything that's in that area is what's going to be sampled. Contrast is looking at the differences of contrast between the areas within that circle. So in this case, if you look at this boy's head, we have the boy and we have the blue background. It's looking at the contrast, the value difference between those two areas. It's not looking at hue. If we look at frequency, that's the number of registration points that are going to be set along the path that is being selected using this tool. So to show you an example of what all this looks like, I'm going to zoom up on the boy's head here in his body, and we're going to start selecting. I'm going to decrease this, you can see, to, let's say, about 10 pixels wide. Hold the mouse down and drag, and you see how this kind of just sucks up next to the, the differences? And you see how it all of a sudden has a problem right there, right here, at the t-shirt. That's because the white area of the t-shirt and the lightness of the sky, the contrast, if it's currently set at 59%, the contrast range isn't great enough between those two for the tool to actually know its difference. You see these points that are being laid down has to do with the frequency. The higher the number, the larger the number of points, the more detailed your selection. The lower the number, the less detailed your selection. In either case, if we zoom up to this, you can see that though it looks like it's fairly detailed selection, you can see the space and how this isn't exactly an exact selection tool, but it's better than the others. If things start to go crazy like this, I can always hit Command-0. So let's do a little bit larger here. So I can move fairly quickly and go along this body, like so. Now let's give you another example. I'm going to go down here and go along this, and as we get to the corn, watch how the lassos See if I move too fast, how it all of a sudden is off the charts. So, one way to correct this is as you drag it, you can actually click on the points you want and help direct the points along the area. If area is too close, then you'll find that this tool isn't always the best. Like all of these tools, I need to complete the circuit. So if I wanted to go around, I either double click for it to do the selection myself, or I need to go along here and drag it along the path that I want and complete the circuit myself and then the icon will change.